So Just Dio sent in a round to review from Professional Match. Uh, it's EDG versus Team Liquid. EDG on attack. They're losing 5-4 uh, currently, which is not a big issue. And they have a lower buy, but it's still four rifles. They save. Uh, actually, Jet doesn't save for next round. But everyone else still has a full buy for next. Liquid is fully equipped and has two ultimates. Huge advantage uh, in general towards Team Liquid here uh, on just the basic loadouts. Let's see what's happening. Viper wall to lurk towards heaven. Safe. Why, why is the spike though in, in spawn? That's like the, the first issue that I see here is the spike in spawn. Like, it's very inefficient in a way because you have to like reroute from the basic position of the spike so it this is very inefficient but let's see if this actually matters many angles it could have been peaked on but the cam gets posted b main regar immediately goes over to a there's four players a again yeah 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 that's like they didn't do anything any pressure on b main so there's like a big big now overstack saying that their attack side looks so deadly i was hoping for more Oh and I might seem overly harsh considering the score is only 5-4. So now the sky. By the way, not a single piece of utility being used here by sky. Like, why on earth are you not doing that? Like, this was that's one thing that really pisses me off when it comes to like watching professional games. Like, you can clearly see that this is a round that was not being a full execute on A. Even though we had four players in this spot, right? The spike is still in spawn because they left it for rotation. So that means they are not attacking A. But why on earth are you not using one of your flashes at the beginning of the round? Because you're going to get a second one when you're going to be doing this, uh, this rotation. Uh, look, look at this. Look at this. Um, uh, the clock is one thirteen right now. If you would have used it in the first tempo, right? That means that he has a 32 timer now. There's like high, high level of inefficiency. All right, so they know about the cam. So if they know about the cam right now, EDG should understand that there's a stack on A. So this is the moment to strike. Just because the camera is so deep into B main, that means that they are most likely not having a lot of forces on the B side because of the camera placement. So this rotation starts most likely right now broken i think he's gonna signal that this round is different all right well no commitment right, close. no one's holding it yeah they haven't really rotated off the back of this so, so this is kind of interesting because the smoke from liquid right now when you see the smoke from liquid is like wait, wait wait why is he smoking like this why is he smoking like this so you get you should read that he's playing off this smoke if he's playing off this smoke that means he's either on rafters because he makes a, a one way for hell right if he stands like on rafters the omen then he has a one way for here and has a um has a more unexpected angle uh for a player coming out of the smoke right or he's on the pillar like this like, there are no other positions. He cannot stand here, because if he smokes like this, that gives a free check. So once a player comes to rafters here, he can look down and not be exposed to sight, so gives him free check for this position. So this position is most likely clear, but you still have to check it, but you get the help of this smoke. And in general, Team Liquid has a big problem, because they have no idea if there's someone vents, have no idea if someone is already stairs. So they, the rotation here is going to be very inefficient when it comes to speed of it. So if they don't kill massive amount of, you know, if they don't kill um, a lot of players right now from the B anchors, this retake is very dangerous for Team Liquid. Yeah, there's like no excuse for this. There's like literally no excuse whatsoever from this kind of behavior. Um, you know that you're being pushed from heaven. Heaven. You know that you're being pushed from mid. You know it's not A. So there's like very high risk, no reward play. This is like a throw. What the red guy? Yeah, and if Nats gets two, there's a chance they can still redeem this run. But right now, it's thrown by red guy. Oh my goodness, that is peak form from him. Dude, I could, I can, I didn't remember this round. I'll be honest with you. Wait, what? 
It's 4v3. Why is Kanken on a rope? Let me remind this because I literally just turned off my brain because of that play. So it's 4v3. From him. There's literally absolutely no reason Literally to go on moment. this fucking rope. That's 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 like almost as bad as Redgar's play, by the way. Like right here. This is almost as bad as Redgar's play because you have an advantage and you have players on site. The only thing you need to do is not die to help your teammates plant. Right? So this is a chance for Team Liquid right now. Can he force them a win from it? Can they land these shots? Can they land these? <laughs> Oh, God, dude. Ooh. And the fight here at Pillar, like this, I don't mind. Because they, they fight with two people. So it's like, it's okay. Like, you fight, you make a call. Like, this is something, that this, is a, this is a risk that you're taking on the Pillar. But it's not a bad decision because you make it with your teammate to fight that position and just take your chances. But the only reason why those two players right now right here, on tower, sorry, on pillar, the only reason why they're in this gunfight is because this player from under, which is Kankan, -Kan, entered. Right? Like, the reason why they're swinging is because they don't have the contact player from hell. If this player is still alive, then they stay on pillar, and they play off contact of contact players. Because Viper is going to stand in this position, and Raze is going to stand from this position, right? So those two players playing from pillar or from backside are going to play off contact of the Viper and Raze. But because Raze ends her ass off, right? Like, ends completely by going up the rope and just dying, they lose this contact from the hell, and they cannot play on that position anymore. So they need to swing out and take 50-50 gunfights, which are not favorable for them, by the way, in this spot. And they win it, but it's, it's a throw. You know? Like, that's, that's like one of those things that you learn in those games into, if you actually look into the decision-making, and it's, again, it's like a domino effect, right? One bad decision makes other people do bad decisions but this bad decision is a good decision because you need to do something actively because your other teammate just ended i hope you guys enjoyed this small breakdown and yeah thank you just dio for sending this round I, I i legit removed it from my memory i was like what the hell man oh god dude